My name is Carly and my son Brandon is four years old. He was diagnosed at uh, one month old. He got sick uh, about 12 days old when, and was hospitalized and we didn't know why. And we were in Alaska. Alaska is very remote compared to uh, the lower 48. We don't have a lot of doctors who have experience with CGD. So I was super lucky to have a doctor who knew about it and took, and took care of the one other family in Alaska who has two boys who have CGD. So after the first week of my son being sick and not responding to any medicines, he thought, well, maybe it's CGD. And it was, it, it was amazing. The, uh, the chances of, of him in Alaska having two patients with CGD is just astronomical. And we got him by chance. Uh, the night Brandon was born, we were given the pediatrician that was on call. And it happened to be the one doctor in Alaska who takes care of the only other CGD family. So take that what you will, but uh, that was definitely meant to be. And part about being in Alaska is we don't have, Im we have some immunologists, none that I know of that take, have ever taken care of CGD. We don't have uh, the resources like we do down here. So I only had one opinion from certain doctors about CGD. And I learned through the years that though they know um, pretty much everything, it's good to get out and get second opinions and talk to other doctors who have opinions you maybe never heard of before. Uh, we were never really for bone marrow transplant. Our son was doing pretty, you know, pretty well. And as he gets older and he's getting more problems and more problems, uh, we went down to Seattle, to Seattle Children's Hospital, and had an appointment with one of the uh, immunologists down there. And he gave us an opinion and research and ideas and thoughts that we'd never heard of before. So I'd recommend if you were in an area maybe not just Alaska, but some other area that's that's remote. Get yourself out there, travel somewhere, and see other doctors who have maybe different opinions. You might not agree with them all, and every child is different, definitely, but I think being educated in all of your choices early on in the disease, you have a better idea of where you might want to go with it in the future. One thing that I don't think is talked about often is what a disease like CGD or any other PI is what it has on a family, uh, such as a marriage. A marriage has, these days, it seems like you have everything against you, but add on top of that something like CGD and uh, the stresses that it puts on a marriage are amazingly difficult. And I'd recommend that you seek help and talk to people. This disease has such um, hardships on a marriage that that you don't hear about and that people don't talk about, but um, seeking help. You know, they talk about making sure that your patients with CGD talk to people and get therapy and things like that to help them through the depression and anxiety of it, but I think for the parents, and especially through a marriage, um, it's very important to talk to people, to um, see a marriage counselor. It doesn't mean that your marriage is a failure, it means you're trying to help it. And um, uh, Brandon, my son, his father and I are not together anymore. And so now I'm a single mom in a remote place like Alaska, fighting a battle, I feel like all about myself. But um, I reached out to people, to other moms, and other um, moms and dads across the US through Facebook and through um, through th some of the CGD Facebook pages. And I've been able to meet some other moms through there and hear their story. And I know that I'm not alone anymore. Uh, getting to come to one of the IDF retreats like I am right now uh, is an amazing opportunity to get to know people, especially if you're feeling alone because you're gonna realize really quickly that you're not.